Hey guys, welcome back to Nothing But Love. And I was just sitting down here and I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video. Um, maybe two, maybe just one. I might just put it all in one video, I don't know yet. And I thought, why don't I just do a little get ready with me? And so, in this get ready with me, since I decided to turn the camera on, why not? We're gonna look at two different foundations from e.l.f. I got these at Walmart yesterday. And I also got this, isn't this pretty? I got this for a special someone in my life that has been like a sister to me for many, many years. And um, I think she's really gonna like it. So it says, sisters help us fly. And so I got me one and I got her one. So I thought we could do the whole thing. Back in the 90s, we called it twins or Twinkies. <laughs> we, we were Twinkies together. I just apologize. I know I keep looking in the wrong direction. I'm so not used to having the camera in this position. So we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants, as they say. All right, so I don't know which of these shades is going to fit me. Um, here is the lighter shade on my hand. And, uh, yeah. I may have to mix and match. And here is the darker shade, which is <clears throat> definitely darker. I think I am going to mix and match and see what I can come up with. So how are you guys? What's been going on in your lives? There's really nothing been going on in my life too much, really. Just same old, same old. I do dialysis three days a week. I don't know if any of you do dialysis, but it takes a lot out on you. But I am in the process. What do y'all think? Is that too dark? try it and see what happens. We can always take it off. Let me find a sponge. Um, anyway, yeah, I do dialysis three days a week. Let me just look in the mirror down here. Well, it is a little bit too dark. I think I will. Oops, since we have time. Let's just take that off. Anyway, I do dialysis three days a week. And, you know, it takes a lot out of you. And um, they told me when I first started up there that I have to lose like 60 pounds, 60 pounds, something like that, before I can even be considered on the transplant list and I'm like wow they these people are crazy so I'm going through the process of doing this weight loss program um, that eventually will end in me getting a, a weight loss surgery and so I am almost done with the program actually um, there's just a few things that I still have to do um, I have to turn in my food log, um, and then there's this, um, and now I got makeup on my shirt. <laughs> of course I did. Um, I have to turn in a food log, and, um, well, I got, now I think I got it too light. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going with it. It'll be all right. Um... I have to get this upper GI scan. I'm not exactly sure what they're looking for. And the worst part of it is that I have to quit smoking. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. And I don't smoke cigarettes. I only smoke a vape, which I don't know, <laughs> which is worse, honestly. But um, I don't wheeze and stuff like I used to, though, when I was smoking cigarettes, I'll tell you that. So, to me, I feel like they're better. Um, 
yeah, so that's what's going on in my life. Work on trying to lose. You have to lose 30 pounds before you can even, for the weight loss people, you have to lose 30 pounds before they will let you do the surgery, which I think that's more for insurance purposes, honestly. The insurance people always make you go through like a bunch of hoops. I apologize if the lighting sucks. I didn't think to turn my big light on. Other than that, that's pretty much all that's been going on in my life. Um, I went shopping at Walmart the other day and yesterday and with my best friend and picked up a couple of Halloween things. I still not am completely sure what I'm doing. I bought a dress off of Timu <laughs> that looks kind of like a pirate and so I have that and then I also have last year's dress which is basically this plain black dress and then it has um, like around the sleeves it has like a lace spidery type looking thing it's really cute I don't know why I just picked up more of my sponge. I didn't need it. I feel like that's good enough, so I'm going to wipe this off now. I had it on the back of my hand. <laughs> Alright, well, so, first impressions. Um, I, I don't like it. <laughs> it. It's not for us old, dried up ladies. No offense, if you're one of those ladies, I was just calling myself that. Not to say that you are. I, I, oops. I, I, I'm not saying that at all. Not trying to offend anyone. Sorry. But yeah, so for us older, drier people, it's probably not the best. It kind of seeped into lines and oops. Um, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I'm trying to give y'all a close up as good as I can. It's like what that's looking like. Anyway, I mean it's not it's not terrible. I have definitely had worse. And for the price point, it's not too bad, honestly. For the price point, it's not too bad. For young uh, for younger people, I think it'd probably be fine. And like I said, it doesn't look terrible on me right now. Let me put some powder behind it. Just to hike, have a baseline. Yeah, it's not too terrible, actually. But yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it again just because, you know, I have better ones. But, you know, it was alright. And for the price point, it's really not terrible at all. Alrighty, so I thought while we was here today, I would do an unboxing. Let me put these up real quick. Alright, um... Where's the other one? Sorry, I lost one. I'm gonna pause y'all real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I left the other one I'm doing over there. Okay, so a while back, I had ordered some stuff with the point section. <laughs> and um, in that same month, I also skipped my boxy charm. This was a few months ago, and they never sent the stuff that I bought. So I just reached out to them on, on I always reach out to them on Facebook. I know some people have had trouble with their customer service, but it's always been fine for me. Um, I've never had any issues. They always seem 
really happy to take care of whatever issue I have. They've, um, the one time I was upset was that I had ordered one of those when we had the Pat McGrath, um, icon takeover thing, whatever. Um, I had ordered one of those little quad palettes, right? And I had ordered it under the glam bag. And so I should have ordered it under my boxy charm because I think for some reason they would have bubble wrapped it if I had ordered through my boxy charm box in the add ons instead of under my glam bag. But anyway, these people didn't put any like protection around it whatsoever. It just came in the bag. And of course it was broke. And of course, because you know, everybody really wanted it. They were out of stock by the time that I, you know, complained about it. So they had to just give me a refund. I didn't want a freaking refund. I wanted my product. <laughs> but anyway, they sent my stuff and I got it fairly pretty quickly. And so one of the things was or what or was this something I didn't get in my boxy charm? I know this other one was from the points, but I don't rem I don't remember if this was Something I didn't get in BoxyCharm. I think it may have been something I didn't get in BoxyCharm. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been months ago. <laughs> and my memory is not the greatest. So it was either something I got and didn't get in my BoxyCharm or it was from my point section that I didn't get. But anyway, it's called Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. And I'm not going to keep this, actually. I actually ordered this for someone else for a Christmas present because I think that they, well, I, it's a nice, good size, um, 6.7 ounces. So yeah, it's a nice, good size. They won't mind if I smell it a little. I actually don't smell anything at all whatsoever, <laughs> which is a plus for me. I don't like it when stuff like this has a very strong smell at least. Okay, so I know I was, um, you know what? It was from BoxyCharm. It was from BoxyCharm. So, as a matter of fact, I'm also missing something else then. Well, anyway, this is from Dermalactis Rapid Repair Barrier Balancing Serum. Um, I really like Dermalect. I have not tried this specific product yet. But I, I really like them as a whole. At least out of the ones that I've tried anyway. And it looks like this. And I'm not going to try this yet. I haven't actually like really read up on it yet. But I'm definitely going to. Because I want to make sure I do everything right. Sometimes, especially with skincare, if you don't do everything right, you get bad results. So let's not do that. I'm going to keep this box in case I need to ship something. So I'm going to set that right back here. And this definitely was from Points. Most definitely was from Points. It is the Glam Lash Volumizing Mascara. And of course it's in black. And I, again, am not going to open this. I actually ordered this also for some, from someone, for someone else for a gift. But this is what it likes, looks like. It's like a nice um, black tube with pink lettering on it. Very very girly. So there is that. I think I'll just put that in there upside down, but whatever. Okay. And then we have our Ipsy bag for this month. Very excited. Okay, that's it. I'm just making sure. You never know with Ipsy. And, oh my gosh, we actually have products in the thing. Y'all know what I mean. They don't usually give the descriptions. Alrighty, this is the bag this month. And I like it. It's not my favorite out of those ones that they tease. But... I like it. It's got a cute little cauldron here for the little... Let me take that off. It 
If I can, why do they gotta tape it up like this? Okay. See a little cauldron, isn't that cute? Can y'all see that? It's turned around. There we go. It's a cute little cauldron. I like it. And of course, we got a little Ipsy tag over here on the side. And then, oops, already. Where's the other one? And then we just got like a pink inside the bag. I am definitely keeping that one. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I give them away to people like as a gift. All right, the first thing I'm picking up is this Hey Honey Love Your Body Shea Butter and Honey Body Lotion. All right, definitely keeping that. Can always use a good body lotion if I can get this thing open. Okay. Time for reinforcements. Maybe. Oh, there was a pull tab and I just didn't see it. <laughs> of course there was. Story of my life. All right, oh. Comes out white-ish. It does feel very hydrating. It smells kind of like a flower. I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> it's not a very strong smell at all. And now that it's on my hand, it's actually dissipating fairly quickly. But I like it. I like it. It's nice. It's like a nice. Um, it's florally ish, but it, it's not like in your face floral. And let's see. Hey, honey, love your body. Shea butter and honey lotion. Obviously, this is a deluxe sample. For the full size, it's $33, which, you know, could be worse. <laughs> okay. If I had known this was in there, I could have used this first. This is the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. Based, yeah, I can't say that. It's a different language. So I guess it's like a primer. There's what it looks like. Hopefully it's focusing. Okay. It feels nice. It smells kind of like, um lemon cleaning stuff like like for your kitchen or your bathroom my mom uses like the lemon lemon scented and it's not that strong it's not as strong as those things but that's exactly what it smells like to me have y'all gotten this did it smell like lemon to you maybe it's just my brain being weird and oh how much was that Let's see, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Vitamin Enriched Face Base Moisturizer and Primer. So it's a moisturizer too. And of course this was, was a deluxe sample. Whew, the full size is $69. Whew. As Abidabs would say, dumb ass dollars. Uh, let's see, okay, the next thing is, what is this? From Pure Heels. What is this thing? Centronella. Centronella. Uh, 80 Eye Cream. What does that mean? Need to give your eyes a wake up call? This is your go to for a smooth and youthful looking eye areas. It deeply hydrates and helps them to firm up your skin without irritation. Thanks to the brand's. 80% Centronella something um, complex helping eyes look high, brighter and tighter instantly. Definitely going to give that a shot for sure. We'll set that right there so I won't forget. 
Uh, MSRP for the full size is 23 That's not terrible. All right. And then my next one is from Context Skin. And it's a really pretty bronzer. Pretty. And you know what? I am not going to... Well, it does look like it's my shade-ish. Forget it. I'll try it. Yeah, I think I can work with that. I'm going to do that again so you can sort of see the color. Is that better? Yeah, I think that'll work okay. All right, all right. And then, oh wait, sorry. The Let's see. Of course, this is the, well, yeah, deluxe sample. The full size is $24. Also, not terrible. And then, this is what I picked. I picked the Fenty lipstick. I had to. Even though it's a color I probably won't actually wear often. But it's what I picked. And this is what it looks like. That is red. Like primary kindergarten red. But we're going to try it. Let's try it. Sorry, I need my mirror. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. What did I do? Yeah, she is. She's red. She is red. I feel like a clown right now. Uh oh. Look, I'm already getting it all over my face. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one, guys. Trying to clean it up a little and I keep getting it. Look, smudged on my face. Let me <laughs> use something besides my finger. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I mean, with a different shirt on, obviously, but. It looks brighter on camera than it is in real life, actually. On camera, it looks even more bright red, but it's actually, now that I got it on, it's a little darker than I thought it would be. But in the camera, it looks like, what was that show that had the rabbit that was female? Um, oh, crap, what was that? The sexy red rabbit character. Jessica Rabbit. It looks like Jessica Rabbit Red on camera. But in real life, it's more like slightly lighter brick red. How I can explain it. I don't know. All right. Well, that is my glam bag for the month of October. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I forgot to read off how much the it Am I seeing this right? Deluxe sample. The full size version is $20. I I really expected that to say like 45, you know what I mean? I I'm actually kind of shocked it was that cheap. 
Alrighty, I guess that's it for me. I guess I could finish getting ready and talk to you guys. I don't know. Y'all don't make fun of me for the way I do certain things. I am not a makeup artist, okay? I am not a makeup artist. So, let's talk. What have you guys been up to? Look, I like to... I have hooded eyes, right? And so, if I don't lift them up, I will get the mascara everywhere. So, like I said, don't make fun of me. So, what have you guys been up to? What kind of activities do you guys do for fun? Are any of you um, retired or disabled like I am? Looks okay ish. Um, this is one of my favorite mascaras, actually. It's the Il Maquillage. I don't know what the name of the version of this is. Oh, it's called Icon. Guess I could have just read it. How about that, Norma? Um, yeah, so. I like to binge watch TV shows. <laughs> it's like my main habit. A hobby, hobby slash habit, whichever day you're talking to me. And, um, what was I going to say? I like crafting. This is my favorite month to craft because Halloween. I just ordered, I swear to God, y'all take away my phone. Seriously, take away my phone because... I just ordered $200, $200 worth of stuff from Timu. Timu. So you can imagine how much was in that order. I ordered, oh, it, was, it was a little over $200 actually from Timu. A firm is running my life, I swear. It's running my life. Because, because I can buy all these things now that I wasn't able to buy before. And I'm like, hold up. I don't probably really need any of this crap. What I wanted is pretty. I got some real cool stuff. I'm going to unbox everything on the channel. Because I got some pretty cool stuff with. And I might do a couple. Y'all tell me. I like doing like DIY type things. And I have a few in mind for Halloween this year. Um, would y'all like for me to show that on the channel? I know I'm, I do unboxings mostly. But I've been struggling trying to figure out what other content I could provide for you guys. So I want your opinion. What, what more things that you would enjoy should I post? Should I post DIY things? Should I post more get readies with me's? How you say that? <laughs> Should I try? I, I know I've promised doing, um, like, stuff like this, like wearing the products or, um, you know, just doing a try on. And I plan on them. I'm going to try and start doing that. At least with every, you know, once I get, because I only get a couple of boxes per month, you know, right now. I got too much stuff I got to pay for. To get too much more than that right now, so I'm just um, trying to just pick and choose which ones I'm getting every month. I get a lower right now, and I'm about to unbox that, so um, stay tuned. I will be posting that shortly. And, um, yeah, I want your guys' opinion. Please let me know what you guys would like to see from me it could be what I've things I've just said or things I didn't just say what would you like to see that's what I want to know okay and I also don't make fun of me <laughs> need to I can find it um I need to clean all my brushes I got them all sitting here on the desk with me and uh there's a lot <laughs> yeah I need to clean them so Yes, I also put on my eyebrows. I'm going to just move my beer a little bit. Y'all can see up close and personal on this one. Yeah, 
And I also want to start posting some videos about when I renamed the channel Nothing But Love, I, I really wanted to focus on not just the unboxings. I want to keep doing that because that's what I started on. But I also want to do some videos about loving yourself and um, letting everyone know that you are worthy of love no matter who you are, no matter who you love. You are still worthy of love. And, you know, content like that, that's a little more hopeful and hopefully helpful. I mean, you know, if I help anybody not feel so bad about themselves and love themselves a little bit more, then I've done my job. I just see too many people on the internet being trolls or just being arseholes. Especially on YouTube, boy. I'm telling you, people do not care. People do not care. Where is my spoolie? There's my spoolie. I got this spoolie. I don't like the actual pencil but I love the spoolie it's nice and thin and it does a great job anyway that, that's what I'm thinking and then also potentially I thought about going through my weight loss journey seeing if I could like you know inspire anyone to do the same or maybe not necessarily in that way but because honestly I'm looking forward to having a better quality of life and if I could help someone make that decision to do that for themselves then that would be awesome Because right now, my life consists of doing dialysis three days a week. And I don't want to do that forever, you know. It's been kind of rough, but I'm getting there. I am getting there. Slowly but surely. Alrighty. Yo, I got these yesterday, too. They had every letter of my name except for the A. All of them. In different colors and different patterns and everything. Except for A. They didn't have any A's. So I went ahead and just got the N. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Any ideas? You know, here's an idea. Aside from makeup. Because I see makeup as like an artistry. Even if you're not a professional, you know. You're still and a makeup artist in your own right. Maybe all you know how to do is your own face, but that's okay. You're still being an artist every time you put eyeshadow on, in my opinion. All right, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I'm not actually going anywhere today, I don't think. You know what? I got this palette in the Ice Cream Beauty box. I want to say, I'm pretty sure this was March. And I just played with it for the first time the other day. And I loved it. I used this beautiful green. I had a shirt on that was about this color. The whole shirt was green. And then on the front, it had white letters saying Lucky. From the Lucky brand, you know. And so, I used this green all over the bottom part of my eye. And then I added this one on top of it. And it was gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. I loved it. You know what? Let's do something similar this time. Hmm. You know what? Since it's Halloween season. 
gonna go with this orange. I'm gonna try and be able to show you what I'm doing. Again, I am not a makeup artist. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just playing around to see what might work. I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to put it a little higher than I did yet the other day. Just so we can see it. And I'm only going to do one eye in case this sucks. <laughs> I need to start over again. Alright, here we go. Well, this definitely doesn't look the same as the um, green did. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to take it off. As best I can, anyway. Of course, that um, second one was a little glittery. So, I'm not going to be able to get all that off, but... And of course, I got the mascara all down here. <laughs> hmm. What should I try then? Maybe I'll try. Oh boy. <laughs> I like the color though. All right, let's just see what it looks like first. Well, that's better. Let's try something. I'm gonna put some water on here. Probably too much water. Sorry, I gotta move y'all a little bit. Oh. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. It looks very... Um... Fortune tellery <laughs> to me. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. So, I love Halloween. Halloween is like the one day in my adult life that I feel like I can truly be a kid again. 
And I think it's a shame that trick-or-treating is not embraced by everyone and doesn't let everyone participate. If a doll comes to my door, they can have candy. I don't care. Everybody gets candy. You can get candy, and you can get candy, and you can get candy. Everyone gets candy. It all it extra annoys me when got and when people don't like teenagers trick or treating. Why? Why wouldn't you want teenagers out doing some some good clean fun instead of being out doing things that they shouldn't do? You know. Let them be kids a little longer. The secret to keeping kids out of trouble is keeping them busy. I know because I raised two. I had two boys. And I did everything I can to keep them busy. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I might have taken that up a little too high. Whatever. Hopefully this is still wet. I kind of like this, guys. I might have to think about this a little harder and turn this into an actual look one of these days. Right now I'm just playing. I, I just want to see what it looks like. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Let me finish with this real quick. I like the way that looks. I need something else. I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. I'll take that one. Let me do this. Oh, so what I was going to say was, do any of you dress up for Halloween? Even if it's just to pass out candy? So, my oldest son um, is in a relationship with a woman who has three children, and so they will be doing a Halloween party. I'm not sure what day theirs is on. I'm not sure if it's going to be actually on Halloween or if it's going to be a different day. I would assume it would be a different day so they can have their party and then still be able to trick or treat. And I will be laying some dibs on the chocolate. Alright, so. I don't know why I just did that. I want this brush. I clean it a little. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's going to be pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. She's pretty. Got more of that blue shade in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I like this palette. You know what? I am uh, annoyed. <laughs> I am very annoyed. So, I uh, ordered... Oh no, wait, come back. Don't get the glitter in your eye. That would be not a good thing. <laughs> um, I ordered the ice cream beauty box, right? I mean, I, I was already on the list. Let me take that back. I was already on the list for the ice cream beauty box. And I had been skipping it for a couple of months because, you know, eh. And... But sometimes they really do come out with some really good stuff. Like, uh, a lot of their duo crumbs that they send are amazing. Which is why I kind of subscribe to them because, you know what, my lipstick is messed up. I'm going to fix that. Because they have more interesting stuff sometimes, you know. Ipsy stuff is great. Ipsy stuff is like more well-known products. But with um, the Ice Cream Beauty Box, you get stuff that you might not have thought about trying before because you didn't know about the brand. Or you get to try new things that 
are really cool, but you never would have known about them otherwise other than this box. And a lot of times, you know, they do sometimes have like Oprah or, you know, some other kind of major brand. But a lot of times it's just indie stuff, you know. And I like that. I like finding new things that I love that wasn't anticipated, you know. Not that you can't have that with, with Ipsy. I'm not saying you can't. I do love Ipsy as well, but... You know, the red lipstick and the eye look is really throwing me off. I don't think I like it together. <laughs> but now I don't feel like taking it off. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I, I do like to dress up. I'll probably dress up for the kids party and um, probably my last year's dress because it's a little less provocative than this year's dress. <laughs> and um, I ordered this cape thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate it into my look this year or not I just wanted it to be honest I just wanted a cape who doesn't want a cape and so <laughs> I may work it into my outfit this year or I may not I don't know or sometimes I do more than one look just for the heck of it it's fun to me I like to play dress up still even as an adult it doesn't matter do what you like and don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't do it because who cares if I'm 40 something years old and still play dress up. It's still fun. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's all I have for now. I am about to film my Allure Beauty box. So look like this. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be fun. Alrighty then, I'm going to get off here and film my Allure Beauty Box. I hope you are having a great day. I hope you have a great day if your day is just getting started. And I want you to know you are loved, you are worthy of love, and I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.